Hello, this is Valerie Aiello, and you're listening to Idea Diary. Thanks for coming back to my office and hanging out. All right, so I've quit social media for the most part, but I am testing out and doing some things and trying to figure out what is the most valuable thing possible or the most valuable way possible to bother even with using it at all. When it comes to sales, if you're using social media for business, I'm kind of convinced that it's more important to focus on your publicity plan and your actual ads that you pay for, your marketing plan for real ads. I feel like focusing on those two things first before you even worry about your social media and the ways that you can promote your brand using it for free, I feel like that comes third. Definitely after you've accomplished your publicity plan and you've accomplished your actual real marketing that probably costs money running ads, but making real ads that you can put in between podcasts or you could have an influencer marketing plan where you're, you kind of hire influencers to, to test out and try your thing and promote it themselves. There's just a, t- a ton of ways that you could sell. My favorite ads right now is to do Shopify, um, Pandora type of ads because they're super cheap and and I feel like they do convert and there's not all the competition that say Facebook ads or Instagram ads might have. Not that Facebook or Instagram ads don't work. I just feel like there's a huge shift going on. And if you're going to run Facebook and Instagram ads, you probably need to pay somebody to run them for you that run Instagram and Facebook ads every day, because I feel like that landscape changes all the time. I don't feel like, I feel like there's a way that you could get the most success out of running Facebook and Instagram ads, but you probably need to invest in a course that was written in the last three months, you know, something super new and some way to learn how to run ads that has been created recently. Cause I do feel like that landscape changes all the time and it's not an expensive job. It's not like if you are a person that gets paid to run ads, I feel like a really smart high school student that really knows what they're doing and is really doing it every day. I think that's the goal of getting good at running social media ads. It's to constantly be doing it all the time and to figure out the hacks and the tips and the tricks and the things that make your ads get the most out of your money. For example, Facebook will trick you by getting you to pay for that boost button. And that boost button is not the most profitable way to run ads. Anyway, that's a little bit of a tangent. Other than publicity and running real ads, I feel like social media has completely shifted and the way that we're using it is totally different. I think that how we use it now, it hasn't really been defined yet. But I feel like by stopping and kind of taking a break and figuring out how is this valuable to me as just a human being and a normal person and as a business owner and somebody that's trying to use the internet to build a following or make money or pretty much sell anything, I feel like taking a step back and really diving into figuring out what works for me, what's good, why does this feel kind of stupid now? Because before it was fun. And I I do feel like age makes a difference because when I was in my 20s, you know, I was around to see Friendster. I signed up for Friendster. I signed up for MySpace. I signed up for Facebook when MySpace died. I, I've seen kind of the shift happen over the past 20 years. And I've definitely had fun. I'm definitely glad I didn't put a bunch of stupid stuff online. At the same time, I'm sort of jealous of the people younger than me because they did put a bunch of stupid stuff online. But it's like their lives are kind of archived in a really fun way. I would love to look back and see my high school friends on old YouTube videos or old Facebook pictures or just kind of have a documented version of my life online. That sounds fun, even though there are some dangerous things that go along with that that I'm glad I did avoid. I'm glad I know life and what it feels like to go to concerts and festivals without the internet and without even cell phones. There are good things and bad things about 
every age group. And the one thing that as I'm getting older, it's not that I don't enjoy social media and the fun things that you can look at, like French bulldog videos till the end of time that are super cute. You know, I do see value in it. And I certainly love and I have so much value with having YouTube videos and kind of like an online video library to learn about anything in the whole world. And anyway, sort of stepping back and stopping the whole like taking pictures of myself and and partying with friends and kind of just taking a minute and just really evaluating what it means for a business and how much time it takes and what that actually translates into sales. And I do feel like for some people it works and they know how to do it and they're really great at it and it's obvious and they'll have hundreds of millions of followers and they just, they lock into something. But for most people, they never, they never capture an audience and they never really go big time and they never really make a um, kind of like an audience or following or a tribe or, you know, something where they can post something and there's actually conversation happening in the in what they're posting. I feel like the average person does not know how to do that and they're spending a lot of time on their social media and it's really not getting the greatest results. And I feel like back to my first theory of you really need to master your publicity and master your ad creation before you spend tons and tons of time on your social media looking cool and slick and all the things that we all, you know, try to make our social media platforms look like. When I just stopped for a year and I really thought about what it is that, what do I want to bring to the table? How do I even want to be involved in this? What I decided was I want content that brings value to other people, but also content that's fun for me to create and brings more to my life. And what platforms do I really want to be on and choose to work on? Because you can't do them all, at least not right in the beginning. So my decision was is that I really get so much out of YouTube videos and podcasts and learning, and I love learning, you know, as soon as I wake up till I go to sleep. So I chose to really just focus on using Anchor with publishing podcast and YouTube, eventually adding Medium, which is a blog writing, social media type of platform. All of those three things bring a lot of value to my life. Plus, all of those three things have the ability to make money. Having a cool Facebook page or having a cool Instagram page on their own without having some sort of business plan You could have a million followers. If you don't have a business plan for that, it doesn't actually make money. Whereas if you do YouTube, you can run ads and make money along with a million other things and ways to make money. With podcasting, you can run ads and make money. With medium and blog, blogging, you can get reads and get a a portion of, of all the people who subscribe that do read your article. I'm kind of focusing only on platforms that give you a way to actually make money, if that makes sense. So I feel like building skills plus making money plus being able to show off my personality and work on my brain and learn how to communicate using my brain and using these tools like a microphone and speaking and video making and writing. My decision was to choose that and to build up myself while I'm bringing hopefully some value in some way. And I'm still working on my way to bring value. So my point is, is that not having drudgery and being really excited to do whatever it is that you do every day with or without a job, there's ways to do that. And you can build build your own little world where you are the star of the movie, of the movie that is your life. Now that I'm starting to kind of add a little bit of social media into my life, more as an exercise of how could I do this every day and not get bogged down and not feel like it's lame and not feel like I'm selling something constantly. How can I add you doing a TikTok, doing an Instagram, doing Facebook? I still haven't figured out Facebook for myself. I just have kind of zero interest in Facebook and I don't know if it's ever coming back. But Instagram had a 1% hope. I had 1% inkling that Instagram could still be valuable, even though it it feels like it's so hard to grow, even for the big people that are big on Instagram. 
they're posting stuff and barely getting any views. So to me, what was exciting about Instagram has that star has kind of faded away. But I, I did see that there could be a glimmer of hope. I think the problem to solve for me was how could I do something consistently every day on a platform and feel like it's fun for me and feel like it's I'm bringing some value to the table and something that was actually realistic to do. I do love TikTok's layout and how they have everything set up because you can make something really cute in 15 seconds that's enjoyable, that's fun. And for me right now, I didn't necessarily want to be on camera every day, you know, whereas I'm coming on the show and I'm, I'm filming the show and, and being on the camera then. But I don't want to do it all day long. I kind of want to do whatever I'm doing every day. And they come in and have my moment where I'm turning everything on and I'm showing up. I kind of want to keep that to the, like, this is my hour a day that I'm doing that. What I decided to do for TikTok was to do a morning ritual video because I my morning little ritual that I do every day, it really gets me excited to wake up and to start working and just start, you know, get get relaxed, get my brain organized. So I'm doing a little daily TikTok video about my morning ritual, and then I'm repurposing that one TikTok into my Instagram stories, just kind of for fun as an experiment, because I'm still not quite sure that it's necessarily worth even that much amount of work, which is about five seconds of work. You know, I really want to cut down anything that's frivolous, anything that doesn't really matter, but I do want to test things out. So taking that one TikTok in the morning that I make, repurposing it for a business page and my personal Instagram page where I'm using it in my stories, specifically that, uh, that felt doable. And I feel like that's happening. And then I decided to, to test out and work with Reels. So Instagram Reels is kind of like TikTok, but inside Instagram. I thought if I maybe did a collection of cool songs that I like and do kind of a song of the day thing, that would be valuable to me because I'm kind of archiving a bunch of songs that I think are cool. And then I'm sharing it with the world of, you know, people of different ages. And maybe hopefully they're discovering songs that they normally would not have discovered. So I've chosen two things to do daily that are kind of fun for me, that are hopefully bring value of some kind, whether it's inspiration or just learning something new. I'm adding that in and I will, I will report back to the show if those two techniques end up being valuable of any kind and really just trying to show off my personality and kind of hoping to gain internet friends rather than thinking about my social media as I just need this magical number of people that follow whatever I do without having any sort of connection or conversation that could possibly happen. That's what I'm working on. I just wanted to update y'all with that because I thought maybe that could be an interesting thing to talk about or to learn about once my kind of experiments go further. I will keep you updated. That's the show for today. The song of the day is from a band called Daughter and the song is called Medicine. You can find a little clip by going to my Instagram reels. And I have a clip of the song for you to listen to. I'm trying to figure out if I do the song of the day on TikTok and on Reels. You know, I think I'm trying to limit the amount of work that's happening. If I could kind of stagger my song of the day with my morning ritual song, I feel like that could be more fun. Anyways, I'm still I'm still working on, on the details, but go check out the song called Medicine by Daughter after the show. All right. Thanks. See you next time.